talk from coaching. Is this one of the most potent passing attacks that you've seen this season? Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they do have a very, very potent passing attack, I think, uh, for the most part. But we'll do our best to contain them, as we always do. What is it about Finley? Is it just his accuracy, is his decision making? Yeah, I think he's very accurate. He's very smart with the ball um, in terms of that, in terms of reading coverages and stuff like that. He's a he's a a, a veteran quarterback and he knows what he's doing. So, we just talk about the pass rush in the secondary. How you guys have worked together and. Uh, of course, you know, interceptions and sacks go hand in hand. So when they get good pressure um, and we get good coverage, it, it'll either it, it'll either end up in a, an interception or a coverage sack. So that's what we look forward to doing. I mean, that, we kind of work hand in hand in order to get that goal accomplished. Lastly, is this your last home game? Yeah, this is my last home game. So I, <laughs> you get a big stage. You get a lot to play for. Is this the? I mean, honestly. It, it is being my home, my my last home game, but I'm treating it just like every other game. You know, I prepare the same, uh, I work the same, so that when the time comes, we can be prepared to get a win. But as you get psyched up for each game, is there something else that motivates you specifically to anyone? The final home game, being on national television, um, a conference rival. Um, I think for me, the biggest part is becoming bowl eligible. So after this win, after we get this win, we'll be bowl eligible. And um, I think it would be a lot of emotion out here because of it being senior day, the last home game for many guys. And some guys, this might be their last career football game ever. So I think it's going to be a hard-fought battle. Talk a little bit about that part. Just obviously knowing that you need one uh, to get to six and mm -hmm. taking it one game at a time, but also knowing that it's right there in front of you. Yeah. Um, I mean, we talked about it this morning. It's kind of just a... Uh, you have to focus on the now type of thing. You can't really set your goal or set your eyes on a, a goal that's far ahead. If you take care of right now, then uh, everything will fall into place. And that's kind of the mindset we've taken, like a one-game season approach. Is it kind of, I mean, it hasn't happened yet, obviously, but the way the season played out, you know what I mean, where it could have gone either way, but a month ago. Mm -hmm. Like, is it a little bit sweeter this, this time around, kind of to have an opportunity to do it? You know? um, I guess you can say that, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of like we – we're kind of uh, reaping the benefits of all the work that we put in. You get what I'm saying? So that's that's how we feel about it.